Let me go. Uh, I was just going to ask you, what was, what was your appreciation of City? I mean, you know them inside out. Are they, are they the best team of the Premier League era right now? Probably, yes. They're an incredible team. Incredibly well coached. The culture, as they said, that, that winning hunger, you know, to do one season, two, three, four, you need, a, you need a lot of good people around that has the capacity to set that belief, those demands. They have incredible players, that's for sure, but that's not enough. There is something else there, and big credit to them for the way they've done it and the consistency that they showed. And, and then is the style, you know, at the end, uh, I think that's brought to, to, this, to this league something very different that probably hasn't been seen before. So, so with that in mind, you know, that, that your players deserve an awful lot of credit, don't they, for, for not just going toe to toe, but leading this title race, you know, for, for, for so long and, and matching them and going into a game tomorrow night where, you know, if you win, you, you can potentially go on to win the title against For sure, because if you look across Europe in the last six years, a team that has been able to consistently get the amount of points in six seasons like they thought, then the next one is very, very far apart. So for us to be able to be toe to toe with them is great. But it's not enough because we want to win it. So we need to find a different edge. And now that we are here, we're going to go and win it. And to do that, excellence is the only thing that is going to take you where we want. And there's no sense of inhibitions amongst your players from what you've seen. They're not scared of the challenge, they're out for the challenge. No. And if they do, just I kill them. Mm -hmm. I don't want that at all. Sorry? Mikael, regardless of the, re the result tomorrow, what... What can what experiences, what tangibles can your your players take from from such a big occasion, such a high pressurised night, in terms of their their own careers and their own experiences yeah. moving forward? Sorry, I cannot answer that question regardless of the results because we want the results. So, <laughs> but you, you know, it's, it's I understand. It, yeah. A beautiful experience tomorrow night. This is what I want. They want to take a beautiful experience where, where we do what we have to do to win the game. Because are there any? Oh, do you see any parallels with tomorrow night, with the Newcastle game at the at the end of la, at the end of last season? That was that was a highly pressurised night. And can your players take any anything from that experience from that night into tomorrow night? I don't think so, because if not, we would have to go back to the previous game that we played at Anfield or the previous one that we played at Spurs when we played the season before. Uh, no, the judgment would depend on the result, that's for sure. But uh, I think it's, it's a very different scenario with very different players as well. <coughs> you know Pep so well, he knows you so well. It's quite a unique situation for this kind of title race. How does that affect your preparation and your in-game that you do know how he thinks? I don't know. We know each other really well. We've seen and we have played against each other now a few times. Um, very difficult to predict, um, but we know what we are trying to do and where we want to take the game, that's for sure. Um, but after that, fortunately, it's down to the players. You know, we want to help them as much as possible. Um, this is the beauty of football. Five years ago, somebody would tell me that we'd be in this position, uh, him at City, me at Arsenal, and, and going toe to toe with them. Um, a beautiful experience. I guess what I'm saying, if I was a City player and I'd mm. worked with you, I'd know that you had a deeper understanding of my strengths and my weaknesses, and that would have an impact on the game. Is that not how you see it? If it's an impact that is positive for us, then it's a good thing. Uh, and we will try to take the game there. But I think they will try to do the same. Last couple. Hi, Miguel. Um, you mentioned City has been at the top of the league for so many years. Mm -hmm. What it takes to be at that level for so long? Well, first of all, a club that is extremely ambitious and always wants to get better. And when you have won, they're going to win again and win again and win again and win again. Uh, a coaching staff, a staff that is constantly pushing in the same direction and they are very consistent with the messages and with the demands that they put on them. And after, get the team evolving, you know, having good players to excellent players to even better players with better with experience of winning. We bring in even better players, consolidating, making the right decisions in the right time, which is very necessary. And in the key moments, deliver. 
to win because you can do a lot of things in the key moment you have to have that extra thing to to win it but the consistency that they had is uh, is incredible and looking at the game tomorrow night what makes you think what makes you confident that you can win that game what i've seen what i've seen when we played against them uh, what i've seen all season and what i've seen the way we have prepared and we are still preparing the game for tomorrow no yeah, we just, I was just looking at the City squad the other day and you sort of see their bench and they, you, know, you said it's almost impossible to say who's going to play them. They've got so many resources and how do you compete with a team when you've got you know, Foden on the bench and Bernardo Silva or Mares? Mm. They've got so many options all the time. In a different way, trying to, to get the best uh, and squeeze in every single drop that with the resources that we have. and. Uh, and whether it is our history as well, you know, our people and, and how we have turned things around, the energy that we created, the staff that we have, and then getting the best out of the players every single day. And having someone that you looked at and you said, this is the level, pushes everybody, you know? Because if not, you say, oh, maybe this level is enough. Here, the level is there. And you have to seek for that. You have to do every single day. And that's an inspiration as well. You have to use it that way. I think that is what is going, it's, it took everybody to those demands and then you can excel because you don't know your limits and uh, we have seen it uh, with many players especially this season where at <coughs> their age they never done it you never seen a team with that age to do what they've done why they've done it because they've seen they said, this is the level and I really want to be there and that's been an inspiration as well Do you feel almost a bit jealous though that I mean, when you lose players it sort of affects your team when City lose a couple of players it doesn't really affect them at all they're always going to have those resources and put them above everyone else. And this is what we have, and, and I cannot be happier with, with the players that we have and, and how they try to do things. And, and yeah, injuries in the right moment for us. We're losing three players that we lost, or four players. It's, um, it's not great, but we have to adapt. And if you want to win a championship, you're going to have to go through those moments and you're going to have to somehow overcome that situation. And we have to show that now. Last one, Nick. I'm again. And we, and we talk a lot about how you prepare the players for this game, but how do you prepare yourself um, in terms of being able to, to put the right messages at, um, across for a challenge like this? Do you do anything differently? Do you listen to anyone different or keep the same? No. Uh, first of all, prepare something that I really believe in, that I can transmit it um, in the right way. And if anything, this game simplify. Instead of complicating it, just simplify as much as possible and, um, and visualize how we're going to do it, that um, that has to work. Is there anything in the coaching courses that can prepare you for, for a big game like this? I think the coaching courses are really, really important because they give you the foundation and as well they guide you for who you, you want to be as a as a coach, not only the tactical, but how you're going to manage the, the team or the board or the your supporters, the people around you, they are really necessary. But now it comes down to one moment. That moment is as well who you are and uh, being authentic to yourself and, and, and doing what you believe is the best way to win the game.